And when I looked, behold, the four wheels by the cherubim, one wheel by one cherubim, and another wheel by another cherubim. And the appearance of the wheels was as color of, of able stone. And as for their appearance, the four had one likeness, as if a wheel had been in the midst of a wheel, the wheel within a wheel. He saw the village next to him, and he saw the end of the earth, which you have to be above to actually see your land and that land at the same time. Something picked him up and gave him that, you know, that ride. Here you are. I know you're there. It was coming straight at me until I pulled the camera out and then it disappeared. Now, it's right there. See it? Thank you. That's weird. We had just finished um, the Mothership album. That's what's weird about it. So on the way back, Boots and I were driving along. We happy we done finished the album. We are gonna go to Bimini. We are gonna go fishing. On the way back to my uh, house in Mississauga, we see a light, like a, like a laser light, straight from the sky, clear day, and it splattered like electricity, you know, sparks, like two blocks away. And before I can see anything, it hits the other side of the street. It's like, bam, bam. And the third one hits the car, right on the passenger side. You know, mercury in a thermometer, beat it up like that and roll off the side of the car. I asked Bootsy, I said, um, what the fuck was that? What the hell was that? And we just drove up to my house, sat in the parking lot, we didn't even move. My daughter come out after a while and said, y'all look like y'all seen a ghost. It took me years to remember. We got that 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning. And my daughter was talking about going to bed. I called Bootsy up and said, why would she be going to bed? Time was missing. We never even contemplated the time being missing. You know, I know if you talk about this, you're crazy. We wasn't on drugs because she had to come through the border. I, w I could have gave a good excuse if I'd have been high. That would have made more sense. They were, I mean, aliens was in touch. I mean, you have to get, you know, like the Beatles. Tell me that ain't a UFO, yo. I told you. That's the second one. Yo, we about to go to war. And we ready. It's real out here. Independence Day. What the fuck is that? Like that is the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life, bro. It's like it's so cool. I kind of believe that we came here from another planet, and all of that is coming back in our DNA. I'm, I got a feeling we're gonna find out a lot of that stuff in the next few years. It seems like it's coming to pass real quick now. You can see in the artwork. I relate a lot to dogs and aliens and wait till we find out that we got part DNA of aliens and all kind of entities. I don't, this didn't just start. If I was to meet an alien, the first thing I want to know, how do y'all dance on y'all planet? I want to make sure you got a booty that you can shake. I mean, if you ain't got no booty, what do you shake, you know? <laughs> It wouldn't be no big thing now. I mean, with the shit that goes on every day, aliens would be a breath of fresh air. When are y'all gonna show up for the party? I mean, I wish I could be around to, to hang. It's gonna be fun. <laughs>